So we've recently released a brand new product, which is an oversized TBI 250 and 300 power valve cover. I have one here. This video is gonna cover the installation of this product. Now, if you're interested in the technical explanation of how and why this product works, uh, we do have that covered on our uh, website listing for this product, and we'll also do a separate video. But essentially, this product helps to boost the low end and mid range power on one of these 250 and 300 TBI bikes usually in the range of about 3,000 to 5,000 RPM before the power valve opens. So in the box, you get the, the power valve, uh, oversized power valve cover itself, basically has significantly greater volume than the stock cover. The volume of this has been carefully designed through many different prototypes uh, to get the right balance of improved uh, performance and rideability. There is also uh, a longer bolt, uh, which goes in the top right hand corner of the product when it's installed. We may do a future version of this which just retains all three of the stock screws. But if you open up your product and find one long bolt that does go in the top uh, right hand uh, uh, position. And there's also a new power valve cover gasket which goes behind this cover. So let's get right into the process of installing uh, this cover. So first of all, we need to take off the expansion chamber. Then next we need to undo the two shroud bolts that connect from the shroud to the radiator. And then after that, we're going to remove the two bolts that mount the radiator to the frame. So in total, we're taking off four bolts from this right side radiator. Pull the shroud away from the radiator and you can gently pull the radiator forwards just to make enough clearance to get to this top bolt here. Now we need an eight millimeter T-bar or something similar. And remove the stock cover and the stock gasket. Now we take our new TSP oversize cover, sit the gasket on the back of the cover and put the cover in position. Once it's in position, uh, use uh, two of the stock bolts for the left-hand side uh, bolt position and the lower bolt position. And then take the new longer bolt, if it's supplied, and put it into the right-hand position. I'm doing this a little bit backwards with my wrong hand at the moment, so it's feeling a little bit awkward. Do up all three bolts just to a sensible amount. They don't need to be too tight. They're only an M6 bolt, so they can strip out easily. Now we can uh, replace the radiator bolts and put the pipe back on, and we're ready to go. There we go, so that's the job done. Total installation time is less than five minutes or so. Uh, the bike is now ready to, to ride um, and ready to experience the new uh, extra bottom end and mid range torque that you'll have at low throttle, 3000 to 5000 RPM. Uh, ideal for hard enduro or trail riders. Thanks for watching.